In this clip, I'll show you how to use the incredibly powerful VLOOKUP function in Excel or in most other spreadsheet programs. This little pro problem, toy problem describes how to use this. Let's say you're creating a table with um, a list of your friends, here six of your friends, uh, originally we have their ages, but what's missing is the email address of your friends. Okay, we call this table the target table. And you know you have another table somewhere else where you have the names of your friends and their email addresses. We call this the source table. And for this little toy example, that table is in the same spreadsheet. In real life, most of the times, that would be in another file or on another worksheet, perhaps. And the command works in exactly the same fashion, in which case you will just have to have that other file open. So. What we want to do, literally, if you were to do the job manually, you would say, okay, Vale and Dalton, let me find this value in this table. Okay, value to find in the source table. And once I found it, it's down here, Vale and Dalton, which column do I need to read off the email address? In the one, two, three, fourth column. Okay, and that's going to be that input column. There's a fourth input, and that will always be false. So I'll explain it in a minute. So what the VLOOKUP function does, it basically mirrors exactly what you would do if you were to do it manually. Okay, identify name, go across to the fourth column, and copy that value across. For these six people, you could do it manually. That's not a problem. But just imagine you have hundreds of friends, uh, or your problem is just much bigger than you want. Uh, Excel to do the heavy lifting and that's what the VLOOKUP function does. So let's go to this cell where we want to have the email and we type VLOOKUP open parenthesis first the lookup value or here in red the value to find Vale and Dalton this one here comma now the next thing we need is the source table on in, in uh, Excel speak table array and that is this table here the entire table you need to highlight comma now once I found my name I'm looking for in which column do I need to read off the value in the one two three fourth column okay so comma four and now I would say you always enter false what's that mean false means Excel is looking for exact matches so only for valent Dalton not for Valor Dalton or Valin Dalton, but only for Valen Dalton. If you set this last input to true, it will find approximate matches. So I pressed enter and indeed I have found my email here. Now I want that of course for the entire column. I'm not retyping this. I'll just copy it across. I'll drag this little box on the right hand side down here actually double clicking on that little box would have worked as well. Let me show you that actually. That's a very useful thing. I delete this again. I go here if you just this little right box on the right bottom corner, double click on it and it automatically copies down. So and we'll see we found the email for Abdullah Lang, for Matthias Little and for Joanna Schaeffer, but there are two of my friends for which I didn't find emails. Now let's look at the first case. Leah Shelton actually isn't in this spreadsheet. So Excel didn't have a chance to find this email address. You need to find it from somewhere else. And Excel tells you, sorry, can't find it. NA, not available. What about Eddie Rudolph? Eddie Rudolph, Eddie Rudolph is here and has an email address. Why didn't I find it? So that's now a little thing you need to learn. Let's double click into our first field here again, into C5. Okay, if you double click, Excel nicely highlights all the uh, things that were used in this formula. Vale and Dalton, here is our table with the little red highlight, and then four and comma false. That's fine. So I press enter to get out of this. Now double click into the next cell. So Abdullah Lang, that's fine. But now see what happened to the table. The table reference has moved one field down. Now it still found Abdullah Lang because Abdullah Lang was still in there. I press escape to get out of this or enter. 
and I double click into this and you see the table has moved further down so as we moved this cell down here all the references moved as well and that is correct for the value to find or the lookup value because indeed we now want to find Matthias Little but the table should always be the same okay how do we achieve this so we we'll go back to our first cell let's delete all of these although we found some of them let's go in here in Excel how you fix the table reference so when you copy it down the reference for the table doesn't change is you go into this and you put dollar signs in front of the column and dollar sign in front of the row names if you want to fix columns and rows so dollar i dollar 18 so if i now copy this down double click again and you can now see that actually i did find eddie rudolph because now if i double click into this you can see the table, the source table reference hasn't changed. Okay, that was brilliant. So this, it just didn't find Leo Shelton. That's fine. And Eddie, it now found as well. Okay, brilliant work. The VLOOKUP function, this is a keeper.